Apparently you're supposed to never put an umbrella up in the house, but I'm risky. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is V. For today's video, we are going to be getting ready to go to Cambodia. I am so excited to be going to Cambodia and I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Basically, I'm going there with United World Schools because I'm an ambassador for the charity and have been for the past two years. I've done a lot of campaigns with them, especially the one that you probably remember when I ran 100 kilometers in one month to raise money to send girls to school in Cambodia, in Myanmar and in Nepal, I believe. And I did their radio campaign where we're raising money again. And now we are going to Cambodia finally to go and see the work that they do, to fundraise and to just do the work, you know? And a very exciting little update. I'm going with Jack and Jade. Jack and Jade are coming with me. They've also joined United World Schools as ambassadors and I'm so excited to be doing this with my besties. But anyway, I, I have got nothing ready. Today is the 5th of May. We're going on the 7th of May. I have not packed one thing. I'm literally reading the packing list right now and it's a bit crazy. I'm gonna go to the shops and find everything that I need. Let's get the show on the road and let's try to do this as soon as possible. Guys, it's gonna be such a long day, but I just wanna go in, out, and like get back home. It's now about 7 pm. Yeah, I've now came to ZZ and I'm taking myself out for food. It's gonna be me and my book. Good morning friends, it is the next day, it is 2 p.m. It's 1 p.m. the night before we're going. Tick, but we're gonna do a haul. Let's do a haul of what I have got. Okay guys, we're gonna start this haul. I have one bag, one bag, one bag. The huge bags, which are heavy. This was really heavy to carry, but it has everything that I need for my trip to Cambodia. So let's get straight into it. So I have this which my friend got me for my birthday. Obviously, travel pillow. The journey's gonna be long. I think it's gonna take us about 14 or 15 hours. So like, I'm gonna need to be stable. But this is just some micellar water. Then, we're gonna be doing a lot of like walking and things like that. So I have got some of these for when you have blisters and I love these. I've always used these and they are very, very good. I recommend like if you've got trainers that hurt or brand new shoes that you have to break into, these are absolutely a must. Then I got some face masks. Here is my pack. Uh, cream for when you get bitten, some antihistamine bug cream and i got some plasters in case i get hurt i've never prepared for a trip in this way i don't know why i'm preparing so dramatically bug spray necessary absolutely necessary I have some deodorant because i'd run out and then i got a new foundation because you know i don't really wear makeup and like why am i going to be wearing makeup on a trip like this but just in case i want some estee lauder which is my favorite they told us that we needed some tissue packs so i have some the packing list i'm going off of by the way i didn't create this is what i was given maybe i'll take three i'm going for two weeks by the way probably should have started with that i'm going for two weeks so that is quite a long time. I got some of these, some antiseptic, antibacterial wipes because the packing list said so. And then I got myself this cute little bag. They told me to pack this as well. Imo Imodium, Imodium, Imodium. I've never known about Imodium, but apparently it helps in case you get diarrhea or something, which if someone tells me I need that, I'm gonna bring that, you know? Some shower gels. Got some face wipes so it's a mini version of this for the traveling then i've got some of these clearly i think that i'm going to be on the toilet 24 7 but this is some wipes i got another little shower gel some little baby toothpaste 
and then an umbrella because apparently it's going to be raining Ooh. and it's one of those umbrellas apparently you're supposed to never put an umbrella up in the house but i'm risky <laughs> so that is it that is my cambodia um toiletries and goodies haul okay, next i'm gonna try on the clothes that i got that i think are quite cute and that can be nice and summery guys i think this is such a cute little outfit this i'll probably wear it more like this than anything just like a cute you know shirt on top and just let it be a bit more covered up you know there's this top oh i love the color i like this outfit i like it it makes sense okay so i may or may not be in love with an outfit and it may or may not be this outfit like can we just this is gonna definitely be my like i'm in cambodia outfit like this is so cute so, like this one would definitely need to have something on top like a little jacket or maybe even like a little top or something you know when you've done a shopping trip and everything is coming up really nice i'm so confused everything looks really really good guys so i fully decided on what clothes i'm taking now i'm torn whether or not to take this backpack which is kind of like a suitcase it really does have a lot of space or take an actual suitcase <laughs> I'm pretty pleasantly surprised so all of my clothes have fit in this compartment and in this compartment up to here so I'm thinking if I put all my underwear bras swimming costume pads and toiletries in there it will fit and then I still have all this space friends we've taken a small break because I'm at that stage in my packing journey I can't do it anymore guys this is the best backpack in the world all of my clothes my pairs of shoes <laughs> everything has fit into this backpack i am so impressed that's two weeks worth of stuff to go backpacking into one backpack i'm going to cambodia today and i'm late and um, i'm supposed to be going to meet jade and jack and beth our manager is coming in four minutes oh that's pretty good and um, we're going to cambodia for a charity cause with united world schools we are fundraising to send girls to school so this is the beginning of the cambodia vlog i'm so excited let's go guys we've made it past uh, checking our bags in and now we are going through security with a gang and of course <laughs> 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 oh, yay hello <laughs> Collected all of our goodies from the store and now we are heading off so quite excited <laughs> Guys, one thing about us, we're going to get matching t-shirts <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Wait, do you want to Lads do on tour. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's all about the choreo. <laughs> You know you've been on the airplane okay, for a good go, there, there, that's ten, where we are, so we're five, I don't even know how long we're uh, on this airplane. So it could have been like ten, five, eight, eight hours, who knows. But yeah. now we've got job, we feel like it's going on. We've got like, yeah, like, so many chances. We're bored, very, very bored. Like, Guys, how are you feeling there. on this flight? <laughs> Come on, on Comfy, cosy. <laughs> <laughs> Living our best lives. Really? Every time I wake up in the middle of like sleeping, I look across and Jack's either reading or on his laptop and I'm like, <laughs> rest. <laughs> Little Jade is over there and she's sleeping. Worst time ever, update. <laughs> <laughs> They've made a sprint across the airport. 
in Singapore. Utter chaos. It's the equivalent of our 1 a.m. I'm we not like it. I'm not. I'm not made for this. It's been a solid 13 hours of like not moving a single muscle. No, but you don't understand how huge this airport is. How do you feel, Jack, after that little sprint? I, I think that that was a uh, personal best. We were not missing that flight. And of course I was the one behind. And I was like, guys, don't leave me. But this place is huge. I need to understand how frigging huge it is. Guys, we've made it. Yeah, sure. We've made it to two. Hello. 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 Thank you. Hello. Look at our backpacks. Oh, oh nice to meet you. And now we are going on to our mini ride. my room look at how stunning this room is so we've all got our own bedrooms and this is my room and i really really love it we're in cambodia and i just can't even believe it i feel so lucky and i can't wait to get hands on with the charity work i've been doing this for two years with united world schools and i feel like this is just the best way to like deepen our relationship and to heighten the work that they do and it's amazing amazing work they've helped over four to six thousand children go to school so far they've been running for a long time and I, I love their work i trust their work and like i said i've been lucky enough to work on a few campaigns with them before so this is just like a blessing to now be in cambodia to finally see the work that they're doing so um yeah i'm really really glad to be an ambassador i'm gonna shower now because i feel so sticky icky and just disgusting but jack jade and beth our manager um they're all staying in the rooms down there so yeah like that's it i'm gonna get dressed and look cute and then go out and take a cute i'm in cambodia picture because i'm so excited to be here but yes time to dash and i will speak to you guys soon if this is the end of the vlog then bye but um if it's the beginning then hi but we're in cambodia i'm so excited bye